There's a greetings to all. It is indeed a wonderful opportunity for me to share to you about our local church and its ministry. I am Reverend Mercedita Rivera Antipolo, the Administrative Pastor of Kabahan Central United Methodist Church here in Mindanao, Philippines. People call me Pastor Mercy. We all know that God touches people's lives through the ministry of the church. And today, we are here to, to share to you about uh, the ministry of United Methodist Church, particularly on ecumenism. Together with us, one of the UMAYAF leader of Kabakan Central and one of the scholar of Council of Bishop on Ecumenical and Interreligious Training. I am proud to present to you Sister Chona. We will be having conversation about her ministry and we will ask her, Sister Chona, how did you start your ministry? Thank you, Reverend. I am into music ministry for almost 15 years now. That's where my spiritual journey started. And as part of the praise and worship team of the Kabakan Central UMC, which is more commonly known as Central Gospel Band, we are usually invited for ecumenical gatherings and evangelistic crusades here in our hometown and in some nearby municipalities. And last 2018, it was you, Reverend, who endorsed and recommended me to be one of the scholars of the UN Council of Bishops, who will attend the seventh Parliament of the World's Religions in Toronto, Canada. And that was my first ever exposure to the formal structure of the ecumenical movement and to a broader or global interreligious ministry. Based on your story, it looks like your exposure and that uh, global activity had an unexpected impact, especially so when you realize that you were become one of the movers of uh, humanism, not just in our local community, but uh, globally also. In our home context, how did you begin the journey of ecumenism, knowing that we are diverse in so many ways. The start of my journey in ecumenism was never easy, given all the trials and difficulties that our diversity is present. But through God's grace and the help and encouragement of people like you, Reverend, I am able to continue my new calling here in our hometown and eventually my parliament of the world's religious exposure presented another opportunity for me to be chosen again by the UMC Council of Bishops as one of the scholars to the United Methodist Ecumenical and Interreligious Training Young Adult Network. And the training opportunity focused on interreligious ministries and relationships. This training also gave me the motivation to initiate our hometown's first ever ecumenical fellowship among young people which we call now Habakan Ecumenical Young People Fellowship or KIF. And music ministry had a great impact in organizing it since I used it as an avenue to encourage and invite young people from other church denominations to be part of the said fellowship. That's great. At this time, how do you encourage the members of our local congregation to join in such beautiful ministry of ecumenism and in showing and expressing that there are no boundaries in that sense. I believe that each one of us is unique and we have been gifted in many different ways. So we must use the gifts granted to us to fulfill God's mission here and now. Not only for us, the United Methodists, but for and with our non-UMC siblings because God is not exclusive and we are all inclusive in God's love and mercy. So we should also extend this inclusivity to those different from us and that to me is the very essence of ecumenism, unity amidst diversities. Wonderful. What we have heard from you is a proof that living in this world should not be based on color, language, economic status, nor differences in beliefs and religion. It should be about ways of finding commonalities and experiences to celebrate with one another, whether in deeds, thoughts, and prayers. The standards of human interaction must be based on the words of God or God's teaching, mutually acceptable, 
you may in jest. And if I may, on behalf of Kabakan Central United Methodist Church, we are thankful for your desire to be intentional in leading the young people of Kabakan in discovering how a humanism can be lived out and strengthened through small ways. Before we end our conversation, will you share to us the title of the song, something that you believe that can inspire others to partake of this ministry of ecumenism. It is the song entitled, We Are One with the Spirit, because the message of the song is very powerful and so inspiring that one day our unity will be restored. Amen. And I know that song also. Thank you so much, Sister Chana. God bless your ministry. God bless the United Methodist Church.